For years, Atlantic City has been a favorite destination for New Jerseyans to shop, play, or just take a stroll on the boardwalk. And even though the pandemic put a pause on many activities, many businesses along the shore were still able to find success. In July and August, occupancy was $4 million. I mean, that's 5% of the room rate. We've never hit that, and there's no county that hit $4 million at all. And we were hitting that in 2021 in uh, July and August and then continued through the fall and into the winter. So we are seeing that we are there. Um, we were, you know, we never stopped marketing. When everything shut down, it took about 24 hours to redirect and reinvent our whole marketing campaign, basically saying, we get it, we understand we're here, we're gonna stay out in front of you, we're gonna walk you through this, and we wanna make sure that when you get here that we're gonna provide a safe vacation. And this panel of experts believes the shore's momentum will carry into a successful summer this season. They were gathered at the 14th annual Jersey Shorecast at Stockton University. I think over the, uh, you know, for the, for the summer shore season, it, uh, I think everyone across the panel believed uh, that this is likely going to be a very, very robust uh, kind of uh, summer shore season. Perhaps not as uh, strong as last year, just because last year's kind of year-on-year uh, -year comparables were so, so remarkable relative to 2020 um, that it might be very difficult to see 2022, uh, you know, kind of uh, outperform 2021, but nevertheless, uh, probably very, very strong. The pandemic forced a lot of businesses to start thinking out of the box in order to stay afloat. And now, many of those new practices have become permanent. What's here to stay is the um, importance of cleanliness, hand washing. You know, I don't think you're ever going to see that emphasis go away. And also uh, technology. We had to embrace technology a lot more. Um, for instance, you go to the front desk and you see all these self check-in. So if, if there's not enough agents working, there's a line. You can go right there. We've put them all throughout uh, our properties. Um, and, and we've gotten great feedback from that. More emphasis on outdoor seating, also creating new avenues for businesses. We became the wedding destination for Atlantic City because we <laughs> ended up doing 10 weddings for poor brides that were not That's able to uh, have their weddings. And we were like, hey, yeah, come, come have your wedding with us. And we had 10 huge, big, successful weddings. And now we are uh, a wedding venue. We're still seeing the trend that people still want to be outdoors. And um, we have just picked up so many convention receptions from 500 people, 250 people to 100 people. New challenges like rising inflation now forcing businesses to make some other changes to avoid passing the cost on to customers as much as possible. We've had to have some creative conversations with um, our groups because they've been in there every year and they've had a filet and a lobster tail and now they see the real costs of they haven't been here in three years, three years later the true costs of these items um, and they're, there's a little sticker shock. Yes. So we, right? so we, have to, we have to work with them and say, okay, maybe, maybe you, know, you go with a, a salmon or a, yeah. a, you know, a ribeye instead and, and walk them through that um, to their comfort level. But despite the obstacles, experts are confident they'll be able to push through and help visitors continue to make even more summer memories and in turn, boost the economy down the shore. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.